lecture, we are going to learn how to export these .osm files as a shape file. In our previous lecture, we have downloaded this OSM file from OpenStreetMap base map. Now we are going to create separated shape file for each type of features so that we can use this in our any kind of GIS projects and in any kind of GIS software because all software can't support .osm file but they support shape file definitely so let's export our these layers separately as shape file say if i want to export this polygon feature layer as a shape file just right click on it from this pop up menu go to export then click save features as from this save vector layer as window in format list select e3 shape file now select a directory in where you are going to save this new shape file i want to save this polygon feature as a shape file in this directory now let's give a name polygon here we can see the output will be dot shp extension now click save now we need to click ok here is our new polygon shape file it is a new separated shape file which is not exist in that dot osm file it is fully new and separated shape file let's see this folder here is our new shape file polygon and our previous dot osm file is this one osm download.osm and here is our new shape file now remove previous osm file let's export point features right click on it export save feature as choose the directory I want to save this in the same directory click save now click OK here is our new shape file let's remove previous one let's export another layers as the same way Now we have successfully exported all of those layers from .osm file to new separated shape files. Let's remove all of this. Now add our these new shape files from open data source manager. In this data source manager window, we need to click vectors on the left side. In here, from vector dataset, we need to browse our that newborn baby's shape files. Click shape files to add this, then click open. Or we can select multiple shape files by using control button from our keyboard. Let's add line dot shape, multi line dot shape, polygon dot shape, and point dot shape. Now click open. Now click add. Now close this window. See, now we have our own shape files of this particular selected region. Now we can use this shape file in our any GIS projects, in our any GIS software. Even it provides attribute tables also so that we can analyze this.
Now let's play with this in your QGIS interface and OpenStreetMap. Enjoy web mapping. Thank you. Enjoy web mapping.